all right guys welcome back welcome back let's do a nice little quick update here so as you notice probably already the market has kind of taken a dump um and that was you know pretty much expected i actually told you guys yesterday that yes we know we see some good news where we've managed to bounce off the 200 week moving average um, and we've managed to stay above the 200 day moving average but sadly we were below the 50 day uh, 50 day moving average and we are still on trajectory for the um what do you call this the um the death cross right so it's all expected um question now is right and this is another warning right not a warning just kind of a little heads up just in case right this, this is a scenario so we have two specific situations that we might actually end up having by the way guys the the lighting is bad because it's actually night time here um so it's around 5 p.m and uh i'm just driving so yeah so you know it is what it is right when i stop in a traffic light you might be able to see my face but the point here is that um we are expecting to see a 40k now we need to see a 40k bounce um 40 41k i'll be as i said you know i'm kind of you know being friendly with it so i'm like 41k that would be one of my buy orders um and then we could see a nice little bounce or what we could see is that um be a point where we might see some sort of a nice little bounce but we could easily fall below because one thing about the death cross is the death cross will take you down even further so if we do have a death cross um, and, you know, we're, we're on trajectory, we've already had the warnings, everything. If we do see it, um, we should end up going possibly even to 30K. So what I'm going to do is this is my strategy. I'm not going to put um, all my, you know, I'm going to bet my house on the 40K. I'm going to keep some. And I've mentioned this to you guys before as well. I've got multiple orders set up you know, 41K, 40K, um, you know, 30K, for example, 25K and a 20K as well. So I'm going to hold those orders um, just in case, you know, because I don't think it's going to go below 25, 20, 25. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think worst case scenario, like, you know, for us, this market cycle to completely end before it starts moving up again. Um, and I'm not doing this from charts. By the way, I haven't actually opened the laptop since I did the last live stream, <laughs> I'm not joking. These are just random stuff that I'm seeing on my phone, like on my home screen, my notification. I haven't even done an analysis. I'm not even doing an analysis here, right? I'm not joking, right? But I can tell you because it's a structure and this is one of the reasons why there was no updates, right? And obviously I've been busy doing all sorts of stuff. So hopefully within the next few days, I should be back to normal. But the point here is that um, we, you know, we should expect to see the market go down um of course the there's going to be one indication so we could expect this market to have a lengthening cycle uh, which will be if we did bounce on the 40k and we start shooting back up again um then i can assure you that we this market cycle continues right um and we could easily move over to like september october 2022 easy easy um, we might see, you know, a little bit of a bearish situation up to like end of February, maybe even March, right? And then we should we should come up again. Um, but the confirmation for us that we're in a bear market or we're still in a bull market would be the altcoins. If the altcoins collapse within the next one or two months, then we're officially in a bear market. That's all I wanted to say to you guys. Um, if the altcoins do not collapse, right? And only BTC, even if BTC goes to 20K, but altcoins don't go down, right and i'm not talking about ethereum even ethereum goes down but other than that other than those two giants everything else goes you know if they stay as they are or close enough right then we're still in the cycle this market continues there's no ifs and buts about that um, but if we do drop and um you know we hit the floor and then the old coins start bleeding out expect this to be the end of the cycle um then we would have to you know hold on to our cash at least six months wait for the bottom of the market in order for us to recycle and then come back in again so i'm going to wait for this one uh, that's what it is the other thing somebody mentioned yesterday was uh mcc right which is called multi-chain capital now multi-chain capital is actually a legitimate company now bear with me one second it's a company it's a real life company but they've never had a crypto so i've got a bit of a problem here right so i see multi-chain capital um you know clearly says we we go and we we do whatever for you and then we give you the return back um 
great. I mean, I looked at the tokenomics, I looked at how it works. It's pretty similar to what Safe Moon is, but Safe Moon has a ridiculous amount of coins. They have like, I think, a billion uh, coins or something like this, right? But that's what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing another Safe Moon. That's that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, when they talk about they're, they're investing in multi chains and they're doing whatnot and this and that, I'm like, okay, fine, that's fine. But what are you actually investing in? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when you go to their website, all you see is basically, you know, where, where, where the coin can be bought and um, what they do that's it like there's a medium post and there's a twitter post and there's a github and on the github there's absolutely nothing so i'm just concerned a little bit right but of course there you what you have to be cautious about right and there's 11 12 000 people actually um uh, uh trading this coin right or holding this coin you just got to be very very cautious very very cautious um in this space right where if someone has something successful or someone does something then it easily turns out that somebody else has already done a coin, uh, you know, based on that. I don't know. It's just weird stuff, right? So, I mean, MCC looks okay to me. I know what the model is. It's a reflective model. Um, you know, they 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 go out and they buy back themselves. So they're making money from you. They buy back, and the model continues. Basically, you know what the, everything they're saying is pretty much the same as what Paradox wants to do with its um, weaponized liquidity, because that's what weaponized liquidity is. The only difference we have is we don't do ten percent reflection and ten percent um, whatever you know, like funding. So the, 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 basically, you're every time you buy and sell, you're paying twenty percent right and then out of that 20 percent, 10 percent goes to them and 10 percent goes on that's a lot of fucking money excuse my language but that's what it is right um you know for us we're doing like i think it was 0.24 percent 0.24 that's like less than a quarter percent right um and which goes 100 percent back to the um uh what's it called 100 percent back to the users uh, the token holders so yes we have almost the same type of model but not as aggressive as that so of course if you have something as aggressive it looks very good over on the surface obviously people who bought this thing for pennies they are always going to make more money than the newcomers right so when you do see a hype whether it's a hundred million or whatever it is right i just want to say just be cautious um, and always you know play with small money and try to take your initial out as soon as you can because if you're not looking at that then you've got a problem you know what i mean so please do understand this uh i'll put the light on i'm on the motorway guys but um please do understand this that it's very very important um that you do understand your risk you do understand what it is as i said multi-chain capital is actually a genuine company um where it comes to the coin i don't really see much there but then again i'm not going to discard them at all i'm going to say well they are it could be all fine because the models are uh, proven models they do work um it's just i found it a little bit iffy it's like okay we buy for you we buy and we do whatever and then we make you money i'm like okay i don't want promises i don't need you to make me money you know don't give me the fish show me how to fish right so that's what i'm looking for i was hoping that mm uh, mcc the, the one you looked at um i was really really hoping because that's why i said yesterday i said patience right patience um because I would rather, um, you know, if I was the founder of the company or something like this, I would be looking at the model where I give you the, uh, I don't give you a fish, I teach you to fish. And in this particular one, they're saying they're going to fish for you. And I'm thinking, seriously, is that really sustainable? Um, it will look great. Numbers, everything looks fantastic. But is it actually genuine? So just on that, I'm not going to say anything else. As I said, just just uh, be careful what you do, how you pursue this market, um, especially MCC if you are looking at this. Um, but yeah, I'm not dissing it, neither am I shilling it or anything like this. It's up to you what you do. I'm going to be focused more on the big boys right now. As I said, I'm expecting BTC to come down. I've been expecting it even yesterday, completely calm. I told you exactly what's going on. No hype here, you know, no, none of that FOMO business here. Just chilled out, calm. I know exactly what's going to happen and I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait for it. So on that note, guys, I'm not going to say anything else. Just keep an eye on the market. Okay, keep an eye on the market and remember the market's doing its thing. Let it do its thing. It will come, right? Whatever you're expecting will happen um, and it will come. Ultimately, it will come. So just be patient. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, on that, as I said, I, other than that, like, share, subscribe. 
comment below. Yesterday's comments, fantastic. Thank you very much for everybody that commented below. Um, you guys were fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, uh, still some of the uh, regular guys as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I will try and get back onto a live maybe tomorrow or the day after. Um, hopefully by then all my current situations, timing situation has been solved because I've been having a lot of issues with time. Okay, that's all it is guys. But other than that, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon on another one. And actually, on the next one should be a live one anyway. Uh, hope so, fingers crossed. Other than that, see you soon. Adios, my amigos.